okay, so you have an event on Eventbrite that you need to cancel a date and Eventbrite won't let you. And usually that's because you have some tickets that have been sold or folks who have registered already. So let me open up this event as an example. And I'm going to go to my schedule and I'm going to see this calendar and, and try to show you what that error looks like and recreate it. So I have a date in March down here that I want to delete. I click on the date, I click delete. It gives me a window to confirm it. When I click delete, up in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to see this error message saying occurrence has tickets sold. It's not letting me delete this date. So how do I um, cancel this date if I can't delete it? Well, what you need to do is you need to um, go in and manage this date. So when we click on the, the date, we can click on manage. It will open up the details for that event to our dashboard. And I can see when I scroll down here that I've got several tickets sold. And so what I need to do is I need to cancel those tickets before I can actually cancel or delete the date. But we don't want to cancel the tickets or the registrations uh, without letting folks know that we're doing it and why we're doing it. If we go ahead and just uh, cancel or delete the tickets or the registrations, the attendees will get a message, an email saying that this particular event has been canceled. And they may wonder why if we have not already told them. So from here, from uh, within this screen, we need to go down to manage attendees, expand that um, section and click on emails to attendees. And we're gonna look for this uh, big orange button here that says create new attendee email. And that'll open a window for us to um, draft a new email. And we can change any of these that are, uh, are appropriate for you and your event. We've already got a uh, one that we've done here before. So we're just gonna use that one. It makes it very easy. I mean, I'm gonna cut and paste it in here. And if you need to, you can send a test to uh, yourself or to someone else to just take a look at that email to see what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna to wanna to send this email now. Now be sure you click on this box. That's the only way to get this send now to turn orange. It's just you agreeing that this email is not promoting anything beyond you know any information uh, or details about this event. And I'm gonna click send. And everyone who is uh, registered to attend this will now get that message that I just copied and pasted. And it'll sit in emails scheduled for a moment and eventually it will show up in emails sent. While we're waiting for that, while we're still here in this date, we wanna go back down to a manage attendees again and click on orders. And from here, we're gonna see a list of all of the orders that we've, um, that have come in and we can delete individual ones if we need to. But in this case, because we're canceling the entire date, we want to delete all the orders. Um, and there's real no, no real option that says, you know, cancel ticket, cancel registration. It's just a button that says issue multiple refunds. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to show me another window with a list of all of these orders that I can select all of them. And down the lower right-hand corner, you'll see this orange refund button that allows you to refund and essentially cancel them. So click on there and you're gonna see a confirmation window that's letting you know what's about to happen. If anyone has given a donation or paid for those tickets, it'll be refunded from your available balance and you go ahead and click issue. Strange terminology, it refers to it as refunding, um, you know, but Eventbrite assumes most tickets have, you know, dollars attached to them because you've sold a ticket. Uh, in this case, our event is free. So we uh, have no dollar value assigned and we've refunded $0 to each of these attendees. So they got the email saying that we were going to do this. And now they've got the email saying that it's been done. Okay, so they've been made aware. And our next step is to go back to the calendar um, because it opened in another window. I can just simply go back to it here and now I should be able to delete it. And again, it asks me for a confirmation. I'm not gonna change anything here. I'm gonna click delete and I should see a message pop up here, one occurrence deleted. However, in case you're curious or concerned, 
yes, those orders are still there. So if you need to go back and look at who was it that did register that I ended up canceling uh, their ticket and I want to, you know, grab their name or their info or their email address, that still exists. Uh, and so you'll be able to see that. But there you go. Hope that was helpful.